Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you how to build the combination lock version 2. Now this is a lot smaller than the last one and uses less resources. So I'll show you um, an example of this. So I'll put in my combination lock. So this one's down, up, down, down, up, up, down. And there we go, these doors open. We can come in here and get our diamond. Now I'm going to teach you how to build this. So what you are going to need is 64 pieces of redstone dust, 64 redstone torches, and 64 levers. Now I'll say 64 for each of these, and this is because it's going to change in your combination lock depending on how many levers that you have. You're going to need an iron door and also 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that you want to do is decide how many levers you are going to use for your combination lock. For this tutorial I am just going to use 7, so what we have to do is create a 7 by 2 high wall. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then make it 2 high. Then on the second layer place your 7 levers or how many you chose to do. Now that we have placed our levers it's time to program it and what I mean by programming it is just choosing whether the lever has to be up or down for the door to open. So for this first one here, I want to make it so it has to be down. So all we have to do is put a redstone torch behind the block that it's on and put a piece of redstone dust under the torch. For the second one, I want it to be up. So all we have to do is put a block behind the bottom block and put a piece of redstone dust on top of it. Now just do the rest of your combination lock. So for these two, I might have it so they have to be down, then put the redstone dust under it. This one and this one here, I might have to make it so they're up. So we'll put two blocks behind the bottom blocks, redstone on top, and this last one down, and then the redstone under the redstone torch. So if you've programmed yours so the last lever, you want it to be up. So for instance, this one here is the um, program for the lever to be up. Uh, what you have to do is just bring it back down to the base layer like that so it's on the ground there um, But if you had the last one so the lever has to be down um, You don't have to make any changes because there's already a redstone at the end that's on the base layer Now once you've brought down your redstone to the base layer or it is already there What you want to do is destroy the next block and what you want to do is place a redstone torch on the side here of the block that the redstone is on then come to the front here destroy the block that's in front of it and the block right of it place redstone down there then get your iron door and you want to place it on this block here which the redstone is going into and that is it now the last thing that you need to do is just decorate it how you want so I'm gonna just put wood on either side of this iron door I'm going to put some pillars at the end here, in between here, and one at the end here. Then bring some in between on the side. So guys, that is it for this tutorial today. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, remember to subscribe as well because I do post these quite frequently. If you have any ideas for redstone tutorials, please let me know in the comments because I will take a look at them. And if it's good enough, I will build something for it. I'll build something and I will teach you guys how to build it. And yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.